Hello, everyone. My name is Mila Deolano. I am originally from Brazil, but I've been living in the United States for about 20 years. I am the in charge of the business development in Latin America. I'm very happy to be back at eb 5 an right? So my journey with the EB-5 industry started with a boutique banking and boutique uh, broker dealer, Invest America. And that's where I first met eb 5 an um, Like Brian, when the position opened back then, I was very excited to join the team because of their dynamic, their transparency, their flexibility, and they're willing to accommodate the needs of investors to approach, you know, the EB-5 and be able to, to um, really move forward with the program. Um, I'm very happy to be back. I was away for a few months. I had an opportunity to join Canam Enterprises that wants a very established uh, regional center. For me, my experience living was to understand that sometimes you have to go around the block to um, realize you were home all along. So I'm very, very, very happy to be back because here I have what no other regional center has, right? This total transparency with our investors. I'm here to help the families. I'm here to help, help the investors. And that is my first priority. And EB5AN allows me to do that. Okay. So um, I believe this is 2022. Uh, the EB-5 program has gone through an amazing transformation, right? Like right now, the investors can see that it works, right? That is a program that really can uh, can be can be a direct path to the to the green card in less than five, six, seven years, like before nobody really knew. And um, I think all the the new rules, especially the transparency act. Uh, the Integrity Act, it was not just on paper. We can see how we today on our uh, all of our projects, how we promoted our marketing, how we share the information with investors. Every investor in the EB-5 space today make the decision completely, 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 completely like in peace that they know what they are getting into. And for me in the Latin American market, this is key because trust is key, transparency is key. So it's not only about making an investment, it's about knowing where I'm getting into and knowing that I'm going to be helped. And it's not only about the investment, it's about helping my whole family, making the move and getting the green card. Um, I think in the Latin American market for me too, is seeing that the adjustment of status has been huge. It's been a big transformation and has been like really what led a lot of, of the especially Brazilians and, and Mexicans and Colombians, which is the, the, the three big countries that I do work with, that really attract them to make the move, right? Not only that the green cards are approved in nine to 12 months in rural areas, but also that they can come here, start the process here, and get their just of status, start working, start traveling without the green card in hands, just gives that peace, right? And um, I'm really happy that the program is working, but more than anything, I'm even more happy that the EB5AN has all the investment opportunities that not only is going to give them the green card, but also is very safe and very solid that, and very confident that they will get, get their money back. I'll add a little right. bit to what Jordan says. I think the bad actor thing, it was huge when, they are, when the new regulation came through, right? But especially in South America. They really thought the EB-5 was a fraud, right? And right now, everybody is confident that it's not, that it's transparent, that it works, that it's really looking forward to the best for their families. So that, that's, that's a really big deal. Mm -hmm. I think this is the beauty of EB-5AN, right? It's not one project fits everybody, right? Our, our uh, really diversified portfolio really goes through that transparency, goes through that, like, let's help. Now let, let's show, let's give the client what they need, not what, only what we want. Yeah, so that's completely transparent. So for me, I think the, it comes down to two things. Two things. You know, one, one of them is what I mentioned it before. I love that here our team, number one, we're very competent. Our deals are really one of the best ones in the markets. But most of all, is we believe that not only one project fits everybody. You know, like Keith said a little bit, like we have a, a variety of projects, urban, and we have rural projects, we have loan projects, we have equity projects. We're really willing to put it down on the table, the safe options, and ask the investor, what are you looking for? 
in how we can help you. And I, I don't think after getting away for a little bit, working for a very established uh, regional center, and look how all the big guys work, I understood how this right here makes a huge difference. A huge difference to be able to offer these options to our clients that nobody does, nobody else in the market. So that makes me really happy. And um, and the other thing is, is our marketing. You know, sometimes it can be a little bit comes out like a little aggressive, but for me, is empowering the client, empowering the investor to making a very very um, um, you know like they know what they're doing. You know, and they know every single aspect of the EB5. I know the financial statements. I know the business plan from the beginning to end. I know exactly where, when my money is going to. And that transparency in our marketing out there into our investor, I think it is one of the things that's going to really make a difference for EB5 in, in this market today. <laughs> one thing I would like to add here that how amazing our EB5 AN team is that everybody is all in. Everybody is in together to help the investor. And one of the things that one client specifically told me that it really impressed her and made her move forward was how approachable our man management team is. I was like, can I speak with Sam? Can I speak with Mike? And they are always available. They are always involved. And this, in a way, make the investor really, really, really feel safe because the management team is also in with them. It's not something far, far away, something that we really, really willing, you know, to walk the path with them. So that really makes a difference. Every time when I talk to my clients, I always tell them, look at DB5 with, with the eye of immigration, the eye of the yeah, financial, right? The financial eye and see, okay, can I get my green card? Yes. But what about my money back? How well capitalized the project is? How secure the, the, the developer is? What is their track record? How long has have there been have them been and um, are they sorry? How long is the developer in the EB5 industry? Right. This is very important. It's not looking only into the shiny element and the beautiful building. It's like look a little bit deeper. How well capitalized? What is the EB5? Cap, what is the size of the EB5 inside of the capital stack? Like what are the guarantees that they give me? This is very important. It's not only about the building. Is about the developer, is about how well they know the industry and all the securities they offer that you get your money back in three to five years from now. For me, what yep. makes me very excited with uh, the actual, like the the currently project that we have with uh, Coulter, for example, one in Tampa is pretty much what we had in South Air. And it makes me excited. Why? Because I have clients in South Air, that project. And I see how happy they are, and now they're starting to get approved. And for me, I tell my clients, one is going to be no different, right? And I, I actually like our, our new project in North Carolina as well. Rocky River is pretty much our very successful project between Lakes, Georgia. You know, so we have something to show our clients that work. And the Rocky River is not going to be any, any different than Twin Lakes, or One Tampa is not going to be any different than South there, only better. So that makes me very excited. I like that because we're not reinventing the wheel all the time. We find what it works, we just perfection it, you know, which is for the best. I think it goes like what Keith was telling uh, us before that we got a formula, right? We had the requirement on what the project has to offer to our investors, right? And if 5 a.m., one thing that really makes us a part in Latin America is that we're not the developers, right? So we choose the projects that we want to sponsor. So we are very strict on on what the project has to offer to our investors, safety-wise, immigration-wise, financial-wise. So for us, it's not only a matter of getting anything available in the market, but it's a matter of getting the best in the market to offer to our clients. It's funny uh, how, how you mentioned it about the questions and everything. I remember when I was away working with the other regional center, you know, talking about how knowledge is power, and I had a call with a client and he had a list of questions. And he was just in, uh, asking all these questions for me. I was like, wait a minute, I've seen these questions before, right? It was from one of our blogs. <laughs> what questions to ask through regional center? It made me really proud. I mean, it was like, you know what? We're making an impact. No matter where they go, they will, they will be well informed and they will make the right decision. Really quick, just tagging along what Keith was saying, I believe, I truly believe 
that we have an amazing network of attorneys that we can refer our clients to. Everybody, everyone in our list has experience with EB-5, have clients with us that already got their green cards. And for me, is every time you have a client that's considering the EB-5, I always tell them, your first stop is finding a good immigration attorney, right? EB-5 is a pathway to the United States, but you need to understand what the EB-5 program is. You know better person to explain to you the immigration risk that you can take with that decision is the immigration attorney that has experience in that specific program. So it's very important. Like Brian said, I always also tell my clients the same thing. You got to choose well because you're going to be married with them for five years at least. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you are on the same page, that you they were looking for the, you know, the, you, you know that your attorney is looking for the best for you and your family and you feel comfortable for, with them, right? This is very important for a successful um, processing.